Uh, thank you. Oh, going back to OWASP guidelines for web apps, APIs, and LLMs, you touched upon that. The challenge is that not every business owner, leader, follow these frameworks closely. Of course, CISOs, security, they do follow. How should they use OWASP to strengthen their defenses in practical day-to-day -day operations, not just for information and education? So the way I kind of think about it is that, you know, OWASP is, is providing the guidelines or the frameworks, right? They're making sure that everybody's educated, understands the landscape, and, you know, and it's there for web applications, it's there for API, LLM security, et cetera. So very important security guidance, great. Now you have to kind of think about sort of, you know, what are my, you know, control flows or what are my access control flows or where are my data exposure, right? What is my risk tolerance? Where is this need to be, you know, prioritized, right? And that is where the, the security teams have to play a very important role because you know, you're not going to be able to solve for everything on day zero or day one or day two, but you want to make sure that you know you have the right kind of risk profile and the right kind of protections and the right kind of security posture and you're applying all of this intelligence and in and, and the right areas, uh, tying back to your business systems and your sort of, you know, what you are exposing, whether it's an agentic world, whether it is to, you know, just web applications in general, or Gen AI applications that are powered by LLMs, et cetera. So I think that is where, you know, there's a lot of opportunity uh, for the industry to really kind of embrace and, and expand and focus. As we have been discussing in past also that security concerns uh, have now become board imperatives. What should executives be prioritizing right now so not only they stay ahead of this new class of risk not only they are prepared for it i mean we should not be reacting we should be proactively working in a manner as you know you and i have talked about that it's gone to the phase of reacting to things we have to become proactive so how should they prioritize things right now definitely you know a boardroom conversation right and i think it all kind of started if you think about last year into early this year, is that, hey, everyone's utilizing AI. AI is promising tremendous amount of like, at the core value proposition, it's all productivity, right? I need less people. I can automate tasks. I can go faster. Robots will do everything. So you have this sort of, you know, talk track that is all tied to, uh, you know, productivity or or speed at which one can do things. And that makes sense. And I think every tool, every technology, every opportunity to become more efficient, to become more proficient is always welcome. And we're going to see all of that take place in every industry. I think where there is a business opportunity is to really better understand how the agentic AI world is going to create new business models and how do you participate in that, right? And how do you participate in that commerce or how do you participate in that information exchange or how do you participate in sort of differentiation? Uh, and those companies and enterprises that are doing that are early days right now, but I do anticipate and see over the next sort of 12 to 18 months that the ones that are already participating in this because you hear about, you know, agentic browsers and you hear about sort of, you know, uh, a lot more types of uh, uh, agentic AI use cases. So I think the boardroom conversations are, hey, you know, there is a 1.0 of AI. We are now entering the 2.0, 3.0 phase. And what do we need to do to benefit from that? And obviously you want to do both with security at the core of it, right? In terms of thinking about you know, I want to do all of these things in a very secure fashion, but I want to prime and prepare for that world. And that is where, again, a lot of the the knowledge and the research that we are sharing through the Akamai Sodi report is about that in terms of, you know, what are the traffic patterns? What are the vulnerabilities? Where is the whole sort of, you know, bot and abuse and fraud space going. But, you know, it's it's going to be here. So it's not like you cannot participate. You have to participate, right? So you got to figure out how to do that. 